Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the RTP Season 2. All right. So I think last season we had it during the MCO. So we are glad now we are able to have the RTP again coming up from the MCO and going towards the physical uh, parade time uh, in some of the companies. So uh, some house rules and housekeeping. Uh, remember to put your name and put your company uh, so that we know at least which company you're from. Then at the same time, do turn on your video as possible so that it's interactive. And uh, welcome everyone. Um, I'm sure uh, we are excited to, to see uh, what we can do and learn together in this session today. All right. So we will give it a bit of time while we admit everyone uh, in here. All right. So it's good to see you guys again. Uh, a lot of familiar faces. Madam Janet, Madam Suga, Darren, hi. And Mr. Ho Himang, the whole family of it. Uh, so if Mr. Jeremy and uh, uh, Eugene is there. Who is that? Good, good, good to see you guys. Ah, Madam Karen. Hi, Madam. Ah, Jehan as well. Sarah, good afternoon. Right, two more minutes before we start. All right, for those who just joined, uh, remember to rename yourself and to include also your um, company in your name as well, so that we know. Okay, one more minute to start. Okay, so if you're excited, give a thumbs up and, and we, are, we are getting ready for it. All right, so keep that assignment going because I think after a while, I think the last pre -junior and junior materials that were released, that was back in 2003 or 2005, if I'm not, 8, 13 or uh, one of the years quite long ago. So we are glad to finally uh, be able to do it once again, to share more and more latest information with you, with uh, Dr. Rebecca on board. And uh, we are very fortunate to have uh, Dr. Rebecca um, to join us in the national team uh, a couple of years ago and to spearhead this board of the pre-junior and junior. All right. So, Without further ado, it's 3 p.m. now, and we will um, start with a word of prayer, all right, and dedicate ourselves uh, to God and before we start this session, all right? Okay, let us pray. Almighty Father, we give thanks to you for the time that we can come together to learn together a lot um, in this session, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to serve together in this voice Square ministry, to call each other brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, to be part of this uh, BB family, and more importantly, to be part of this kingdom family, Lord, my God. And Lord, we just want to submit this session unto your hand, Lord, that your will and your plan be carried out through every one of us here, Lord. 
and I will just submit our speaker, Rebecca, Dr. Rebecca, to your handout. May you uh, guide her through the session as how the world is. We submit everything under your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so I will do a quick introduction on Dr. Rebecca. So Dr. Rebecca Choi is a real doctor, all right? So uh, she is from Sakan Subang Jaya. She grew up in Sakan Subang Jaya. Uh, Sakan Subang Jaya is in Selangor, and she is from Ring and Fao. And today she will be sharing with us on the pre-junior and junior materials. So I'm sure, uh, all of us, or most of us here, has already uh, seen uh, through the Google Drive that was shared on what the material is. All right. So, and but nonetheless, uh, Dr. Rebecca Choi is very passionate in the pre-junior and junior uh, session. That's why she came on board to the national team uh, in this term. All right. So, without further ado, I will pass the mic to Dr. Rebecca Choi for her to share with us on the latest materials. Uh, Rebecca, to you. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for spending your time with us today. I am very thankful that we can have this webinar because I'm very, very, very excited to introduce what we have been working on for the past two years, maybe even three years, uh, for the entire Boys Brigade of Malaysia. And uh, you're here today because you want to prepare yourself pre so that we can help the members even more. So I'm going to just uh, go straight. Uh, George, can we have the PowerPoint up, please? Okay. PowerPoint coming up. Okay, okay so uh, here, yes, uh, I am... I am a lieutenant with the Second Subang Jaya Company. I'm currently working in Sabah, uh, and I've been uh, thankful to be co-opted into the EXCO for this 2019-2021 as the Broad of Pre-Junior and Junior Section, com Section Committee. So uh, this National Syllabus 2020 was developed uh, because we had a committee in 2018 that was represented by an officer from every state. And that's when we actually brainstorm about what we need, what the pre-junior and junior section need, which is a standardized material, a workbook, that can be used for the members as well as the officers. Uh, currently, there is a material from KL State that is translated in Chinese, used in Kuching, and also Penang has their own some of it, and Sabah has been trying to get a Malay version as well. So there are a lot of materials everywhere. And for a company that is just starting, it's very difficult for you to find this material because you just have to pick and then use whatever that's available. So one of our goals uh, during this term was to get this national syllabus up to provide the material for all the companies, whether you have been there for a long time, whether you're starting up, these are the materials that we have worked on and we are going to share it with you today. So, um, for now, we only have an English version, a completed English version, and yes, in the days to come, uh, hopefully as soon as possible, we can have a Chinese version and also a Bahasa version for our friends in Sabah. Um, and uh, it's, we hope that in the years to come as well, that all companies will be using it so that when a member moves, if they move from one company to another company, their progress can continue. They won't have to re- but everything again, they can just continue using the same materials. Okay, so uh, next slide, George. Just to explain. Uh, George, next slide. Yep. Yeah, okay. So the pre-junior section has three badges, uh, pink, orange, and gray. So if you start a pre-junior section from the age of six, uh, by right, you do one batch a year. So at six years old, you do pink, seven, you do orange, eight, you do gray. And then in the junior section, you have age nine, 10, 11, 12. So you have four years to get all these six badges as well as the gold award. Technically speaking, you do two badges per year, white and green in your first year, purple and blue in your second year, red and silver in the third year, and you work on just the goal award on your sixth year, which is when they are 12 years old. 
because you have to understand when they are 12, they are going for their UPSR, they have extra classes. So we don't bother them too much. We just focus on the goal award. And the goal award is the only award, is the highest award of the junior section. It's the only award that can be brought over to the senior section. So ideally, the goal award can only be obtained if a member has been in there for four years. Okay, you cannot just start at 11 years old and uh, straight away work for the red and silver and then at 12 years old work for the gold. It is an entire process and it's a journey for a member. When I was nine years old and I started with white, I'm very proud to get every single batch. And I'm very, very proud that I actually worked for my gold award until now. So I hope that officers, you encourage your members, you know, start recruiting them early and help them go through this process of learning and everything. And hopefully one day they'll be able to get their gold award to wear it to their senior section. So if you see the national syllabus, next slide. Okay, it is tabled into a very easy timetable, all right? So I'm gonna go with the pre-junior section first. There are six modules. One is the spiritual, PB knowledge, life skill character, social, physical, and drill, all right? So there are six modules and each batch have separate topics within it. And same goes to the junior section. Can we have the next slide? So this is the junior section. There's more badges, there's more topics. All right, so why we want this to have like a very different modules is because we want our members to be able to be taught different things in life that help them to nurture them and make them a wholesome member. So you have things like first aid to things like a boy girl relationship, to arts and crafts, dining etiquette, social etiquette, and all these are just characterized based on uh, a module. So they're all popped under like spiritual. We're just talking about things like John 316, the Great Commandment, the Lord's Prayer, and life skills are all things like home safety, how they're going to take care of themselves when they're at home, uh, first aid, basic first aid, basic cooking. And uh, all these, we, we hope that the member goes through all this when they finish the junior section. So um, we did this in the sense that there are companies that are church-based and school-based. And we understand that there are small companies and big companies. So the bigger companies that meet once a week, they have a specific slot for batch classes and you have a group of maybe 10 junior members who are doing white at the same time. And then the next, the next half of the year, they do green together. And the year after that, they go purple together and they go blue together. But at the same time, we also know that there are smaller companies who have a mix. One is a white, one is white batch member, one is purple, one is working on red, one is working on silver. And there's only one officer to teach five of them. So how are you going to have five different classes on one parade? So with this, you are able to tweak it and you are able to plan your lessons. So let's say I teach um, life skills character LSC2. All right, I teach this topic, first aid, personal hygiene, basic cooking. I can teach it to all five of them and they are all, uh, and, 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 and all of them will get, uh, uh, get through, go through this lesson together. All right. Uh, and then, because there's only one officer, right, for the smaller companies, there's only one officer and there's five of them. So you just teach all five of them the same topic and they get recorded for it. They get recorded for it. It's not fixed. So that's why this is not a fixed thing. It is an outline for you that you can use based on your local needs, your manpower, how many times you meet per year, how many members you have, and how many officers and instructors you have. Because we understand we cannot have uh, one syllabus that fits everybody. So this is, you can use this in any way that you want. So what we can recommend is, uh, next slide, George, how you can plan your lesson. You can either go by uh, left to right, meaning uh, SP1, BK1, then you teach them LSC1, SC1, physical one, and then they get a white badge. So this is the normal standard. 
you go through all these topics, you get a white badge. Okay, Josh, you just click next, you will get some lines, yeah? So click, click six times will do, Josh, yeah. So you go through left to right and you will get a batch, all right? Or you can also plan it, next slide, based on lesson. So next, you can do spiritual one, Bible knowledge two, LSC two, maybe even uh, social five. And then after that, with all the five modules, you will get one batch. So as long as they get one lesson from each module, they will get a batch. So it is up to you as an officer instructor to plan this out. Like, okay, for the first half of the year, I'm going to do this topic, this topic, this topic for this week. And as long as the members get all six badges, they will get the next badge. So let's say you go for another six modules, different modules, you'll get the next badge green. So if I'm a member who I'm, I'm doing green now, the next badge I'll get is purple. Even though I go through the same lesson as a white batch member, he will get green, I will get purple. So you just like level up and level up slowly eventually. All right. So uh, it is, you are able to use it any way that you want. But as long as you know that there are, you go it by a package, by the whole package, LSC2 or LSC3, because there are several subtopics within that lesson. All right. Uh, it is in the workbook, it is called like Bible Knowledge 1-1 or Bible Knowledge 1-2, Bible Knowledge 1-3. But all these are Bible Knowledge 1. So once they finish that one lesson, that part is done. All right. So now I'm going to, George, can you please show them what the workbook looks like for the members workbook? Okay. Uh, junior, junior one? The, whichever. The, Junior one or pre-junior one? Yeah. This is the pre-junior workbook. Okay. All right. So here you see that there is a member's lesson record tracking. So if they've done that lesson, you can just mark it. And then you can see, okay, you can, you can get your pink batch already. Okay, you can get your um, orange batch and things like that. Okay. Uh, Keep scrolling, George. All right, so this is what the workbook looks like. Okay, the workbook can be quite simple. Like it can be um, just maybe a, a word search, you know, but these are just materials for you to work on during lessons. I understand and I know that there are a lot of creative officers out there who thinks of various ways to get uh, their classes very interactive and practical. So if you feel the need to bring the members hiking to teach them of hiking, by all means do it, you know, go creative uh, and do as much as you can based on the number of members that you have. But this is sort of like a skeleton that you can work with, you know, okay? So this is what the workbooks look like, you know, they can just do that or you can just have extra lessons along as you go. Yeah. All right. So now this is what the officer guidebook looks like. It's quite similar to the members workbook. It goes in tandem with it. And um, if you are, you know, one day you just have to cover uh, an officer who is not coming. You just read that lesson and you prepare for the day before. Because I understand that there are a lot of officers who are busy and some weeks you're not there and you need somebody else to step in for you. So at least everybody has the same material and everybody has the same preparation material. So this is the lesson for God so loved the world and um, the answers so that at the point in time when you're dealing with six members, you do not have to look for the answers yourself um, and you can read all these materials to prepare for your lesson beforehand. All right. So. All these members, we have a pre-junior workbook, a pre-junior officer guidebook, a junior workbook, and a junior officer guidebook up on BBMS. Oh, here, this is the junior section one. The junior section um, progress. So you can pick and like, okay, I've done this lesson. I've done this module. I have enough six modules. I can get 
a white batch. And then I've got another six modules, I can get a green batch. All right, but as long as you have one lesson from every module, then you will get one batch. All right, so this all will be up on BBMS. And George, you can show them what it looks like on BBMS so that they can access it. Okay, it's a PDF form. So it's a PDF form. You can print out one copy and then mix and match it, uh, arrange it according to how you want your lesson to be. Or you can make it as the entire book and give the member. So it's not fixed in the sense that there is a page number. You can adjust it according to what you need. So on BBMS, if you log in, uh, this is the login page, all right? Uh, it will be under resources so that anybody can access it. Yep. You can filter it and you can find it there. And we already have a drill guidebook, so I hope that you are also using that. It's one of the resources that we are providing for all your uh, the local companies out there who need it. Yeah. So uh, I hope in the next few months or year that our next aim is to get a Chinese version and a Bahasa version. Mr. Neuma from Sabah has already kindly offered to help with the Bahasa translation, but I would definitely, uh, you know, be so blessed if there's somebody who can volunteer with the Chinese translation, uh, because there are a lot of companies which are Chinese based and all the members will benefit so much. So if any of you there feel a calling to help with the Chinese translation, we will definitely give you all the material and all the help that we can. Um, in order to get the Chinese version for it. So that is what we are aiming to work on from here on. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, because this is something new, uh, if you're using it, preparing it for 2021, when you start your parade again, uh, if you find that there's anything wrong with it, you know, anything that you say, oh, this doesn't look right, or this doesn't look right, you can always just email us and let us know because, um, yeah, this is a beta version, you know. We are always here to improve it and revise it as we go. But as you use it weekly basis uh, and you find that there's something wrong, just let us know, get back to us. We really, really would appreciate the feedback. Uh, another thing is that, um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can always find George <laughs> immediately. Uh, but uh, we are very, very excited for all of you to use this material in 2021. Um, I think that's all for me. Something just really short. Um, if we can go to a Q&A session now. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Rebecca, for the amazing sharing. Uh, if I may add on, um, just want to share um, in the drive, there is um, this item as well. So if you ever need a, a, a so-called a lesson plan whereby you have limited resources, like what um, Dr. Rebecca is sharing, um, you can always refer to this list whereby the highlighted ones are the overlapping, not to self you can use one officers and teach um, the same lessons among across the sections. It's just for your reference. Lah. All right. Okay, so now we will open up the floor uh, to Q and A, so if you want to ask, just unmute yourself, then uh, just ask right away. All right. So because we are ahead of time, so we have plenty of time to ask any questions. All right. If anyone has any questions? No questions. Is everyone clear on the? Or can you unmute yourself? Ah? Hey, where are you? I think I accidentally. Uh, okay. okay, you can unmute yourself now already. Okay, hi, this is Jehan from TechKL. Um, thank you, Dr. Rebecca, for your sharing. Um, I just have um, two questions. Uh, one is that for my company, right, I 
I know now and in the past, we, we, it's quite common for us to have members that started to join at 10 years old. Okay. So normally the way I did it in the past is that 10 years old, they get two badges and then assuming they join early of the year. Lah, okay. And then mm -hmm. 10, 11, 12, by the time they finish 12, they will get six badges. So question mm -hmm. is, when they, so to speak, before turning 13 in Form 1, are they able to still go for the Go Award? That's number one. And number two is that based on the batch classes that you have put in there, is can I, um, does it matter what age group? Like, is it assumed that the red badges are for 11 year olds and then the silver are for 12? Um, because we may have um, boys or, or girls for that matter for everyone benefit here, that they may join at 11, um, but it's a bit odd to put them through white badge. So naturally, you know, some, I think that's some of the things that we would consider, like what do, what do we do with this group of um, members? Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your question. Uh, okay, if I remember the first one was that, can they still go for their goal what, before they turn 13? Technically, yes, a lot of companies do that. Um, but you know, when after that three years, 10, 11, 12, and at 13, they're supposed to go to their senior section. So that's when they become a recruit and they do their target batch and things like that. So if your yeah. company can somehow find a way to do target batch and goal award and still want them to get work for their goal award, by all means, as long as they fulfill the criteria. Yeah, I think a lot of companies still do that. So as long as they fulfill the criteria, they are not over age before they apply for their goal award, go ahead. And for your other question, uh, yes, some members start a bit later at 11 years old. But no matter how old they start, we always start with white batch. We always start with white, then green. So if they start at 11 years old, technically they will only get two badges before they become, uh, uh, before they get sent off to senior section. Yeah? So the materials are prepared in such a way uh, there is a little bit of uh, age-related materials, like for example, uh, we are talking about boy-girl relationship. Uh, that topic was allocated to red batch and silver batch to cater for maybe 11-year-olds. Uh, uh, but if, um, if you want to cover that with a member who is like nine years old, you have to adjust it according to their age. But basically, if you're 11, there is no harm in learning John 316, even though it's allocated for white batch, right? We want them to learn John 316 for God so loved the world. So it's very flexible. The topics are very general, you know, hiking. You teach a nine-year-old, you teach an 11 year old hiking, it's the same. So that's why it's, it's meant to be flexible that way for you yeah. to use. Yeah, I, definitely. Does that I answer your that. question? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Because like, I think for, at least for, from my own experience, is that when we plan, we, we go by their age first rather than the color of the thing. Then we, we work it out and see what is suitable. Um, also, I just want to clarify, yeah, uh, just one last thing, then I'll, I'll, I'll end it for now. Um, just want to clarify. So how, how you were saying that they need to do at least four years of juniors, ideally, before, like, to the end of it, they get the goal award, right? Is it for or two sessions because I just opened up the Go Award that application form. It says members must at least finish two sessions. So I just need some confirmation there. Two sessions of what? I'm sorry. Um, okay, let me just... Um, okay, basically, I don't know whether I should share the screen or not. Basically on the... Can I, can I share? Am I able to just yeah. share? Yeah, you can Enjoy. share. But, uh, yeah, sorry, I just want to clarify. Yes, uh, okay, no you can problem, now. But you have yeah. to understand that what I, I meant is uh, ideally when you start junior at like nine years old, you know, you're starting exactly at the age it is nine years yes. old. Yes, yes. It's, it's the appropriate age uh, time frame is four years. Lah. It's yeah, definitely. Years. Definitely. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just want to confirm this, last, this second last line. I'm not sure this is under you or like more like a general BBHQ kind of thing. 
but it says here, uh, applicant must be a have member for at least two sessions. Yeah. So two sessions meaning two years, right? Or what does it mean? Uh, you yeah. Want to so, yeah, so two sessions is two years. Lah. So because okay. uh, this applies to, okay, so why the word session was used is because there are some international schools that starts their year from September to September. So that is their one enrollment year per se. So that's why it's as a use as session. So, so that means by normal circumstances, it's two years. Lah. Mm, okay, okay, can, can. All right. But you have to understand this is because at least two years, because we do not want members to come in for like year, uh, for when they're 12 years old and they straight away work for their goal award. It, it's not meant to be like that. Lah. The yeah. way we <laughs> designed it is meant to go through white badge, then green, yeah. and go through this yeah. process. You know, It's not just about, okay, you need to get this goal award and that's all you need to get. We want them to go through the process of getting a batch and a batch and a batch and, and working upwards towards getting their goal award so that when they wear it in the senior section, they will be proud of what they have worked on. You know, we're not just trying to make sure that, hey, this is a reward, you work for that. We want them to go through a process. So yeah. that is what it's for, like minimum two years, you know. We don't want anybody mm. to just go and straight away head up to the goal award just because you can wear it to the senior section. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Underlying fact: this whole question. journey is a, it's a race. It, it's a, it's a proper race, lah. Don't rush for it, lah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. I have one question uh, from Liu from uh, First Penang. Um, yeah. How if the two session, if people, example, they they join, after that they drop off. Two three years later, come back. That two session count or not? Example, they come in primary one, then primary six come back. Is it considered two session? Or you must be continuously two, two years? For, for, uh, it doesn't have to be consecutive. So uh, meaning if they have a the record. same time, if they have dropped off. Hmm. If they drop off and come back they, two years later, three they, years later. Yeah. Two years later, three years later, it's actually quite a lot of time. Are they able to catch up with all the badges? Because you need to go through all six badges before you get your goal award. I understood, understood. Meaning primary one come in, mm -hmm. made primary two, time three didn't join, mm -hmm. and then four, five, six, you still have plenty of time. But it's, or, or the primary one come in, but they come in at primary five and six, you still, total is three session, right? If they go through like this, when we count like this. Yeah. Uh, at least, I think, at uh, least two primary, sessions, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I think primary one is three junior, not junior, so it would not count towards the goal award. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, because you start junior section at nine years old. But, uh, yeah, and I know some companies, they change the age a little bit. Uh, don't, don't tell me. <laughs> but nine years old is when you start junior section. Huh? Uh, six is when they start pre-junior. Do we have, do you have any other questions? Okay, uh, sorry, Josh, I want to add something. Uh, regarding the two, two consecutive years, what we did is you know, normally is uh, the reason uh, for, for catering this case, right? Some of our members is joining at the age of 12. So when they join BB at the age of 12, we automatically assign them to senior section. So if they join at the 11, so that's the reason why two consecutive years is applicable for the goal awards. Think that's all. Mm. Thank you very much for your input. Yeah. Open for any other questions? Hi, this is uh, Sarah here from Third KL. Uh, I've got a question about uh, pre junior junior section. So the age group is uh, for pre juniors is supposed to be from six. You mentioned six to eight, and then for junior section is for. 9 to 12, but I thought that pre-junior was up until 9 and then 10 to 12 is for juniors. So, uh, which one is correct? I'm quite sure that 
nine onwards is junior section lah. Yeah, nine 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 is the uh, junior section onwards. But as I said, there's a lot of companies who change the age group. You know, they they change the age group and things like that. Like for example, you can see in the BBMS or BB website, it says that the pre junior section is from six to eight lah. Yeah. I hope that answers your question, Sarah. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I am Mr. Tian from Fish Miri. Hello. Uh, uh, I have two questions. I want to ask a uh, first question. Uh, this, this syllabus at, uh, what is the difference of this syllabus compared to uh, before? And what advantage is this syllabus compared to the before? And second, okay. and second question, uh, is that this uh, material also suitable for school? School platoon? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you for your question. So the first question was, uh, what is the difference from this one to the one before this? Before this, your material came from uh, any other source in the sense that it didn't go through BBM. All right, it's probably, it may be a KL material. The thing is, I do not know what material that your company is using. And the problem is that every company in the whole of Malaysia are using different materials. So in the sense that this is a national syllabus that the BBM has developed and it's for everybody. Yeah. So the one that was developed previously was developed and then, you know, just share. Everybody just share whoever wants to use, but it's not a national syllabus. So that is what it's about. And I think that syllabus is quite outdated already. So this, the good thing about it is that it's revised, it's updated, it was just made like in the year uh, two recently. So that is what it's uh, good about. So, and it's, and it's a complete package, you know, it's a complete thing from pre-juniors and juniors material. So I hope that you all uh, support this effort by BBM uh, for your local companies. The second thing is you ask whether or not it's suitable for school platoon. Yes, it was meant because we have school platoon as well as uh, companies who meet every Saturday or every Sunday. So if you are in a school platoon and you have only maybe like uh, an hour parade a week, you know, you can actually make these lessons much more concise and cover more lessons in that short period of time that you're meeting them. Or if you have a batch uh, a batch of what, of what camp and you just go through these topics you know based on how many meetings that you have in a year because like for example you see what happened to COVID the, the members that don't even go to school so at least you can use this to adjust and do it online you understand um, it's, it's basically a material for you that you can use and I hope that you go through it you look at it and you see how it's flexible it's meant to adapt to our day and age now, the flexibility of having various types of companies with various amount of manpower and members. Small companies, bigger companies, companies with less officers, companies with more officers. We give you the freedom to adjust your lesson plan. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes, uh, one more question. Uh, yeah. How long do you plan to use this syllabus for how many years? Okay, we just developed it. So um, we hope that uh, you can use it for at least a good few years, you know. Maybe if the next revision will come in like five years. Or if somebody else can take up the basin, like your dear self, you know, to help revise it as we go, but definitely there will be revisions as we go. 
But you have to understand that a member only goes through this once in their life. We may be teaching the topic for however long we are in BB, but a member only goes through it once in their life. So actually, we can keep using this, you know, for a few years at least. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, welcome. Uh, Rebecca, there are some questions uh, from the chat. Um, Wong from Tenkel asks, so the juniors can get their batch as long as they complete their syllabus or they need to go through exam? Oh. As long as they go through their syllabus. Because exams, you, you, can, you can have your own assessment if you want to, based on the questions that are in the syllabus. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's not all about exams. They go to school and they have exams. Then they go to BB and they have exams. We just want them to have fun when they learn, you know. We want them to learn and not feel that they have to pass an exam. Some members have difficulty writing exams but they can verbally tell you the answer. And I think it's very important that we are teaching them uh, knowledge and we're not just testing them to make sure they remember the knowledge. So I encourage all of you to have lessons that are memorable to them instead of just, if you want to pass your exam, make sure you go home and memorize all these, you know? Yeah, that's, that's what we want to aim for our uh, members in the future. So no, we did not create any exam per se. We just want them to go through this journey. Right. Another question from uh, Captain Law from Fifth Mewi. Uh, it says, some school doesn't allow to teach CE. So the boys at the schools are still able to get the batch. Uh, this is very controversial. Honestly, it's very, very controversial because the Boys Brigade, it is a foundation, a Christian organization. Our twin pillar is Christian education and drill and discipline. So for, you, for me to say, oh, it's okay, you don't have to teach the spiritual component, I, I won't say that. I honestly won't say that. Because in my heart, this is when you expose them to what God has done for them, you know, God's love for them. Uh, how do you have Boys Brigade? without teaching about the spiritual component of it is beyond what I can answer you. Uh, Captain Law, uh, is it okay? Yeah. So I think um, I just want to add one more point on uh, well, what Rebecca shared about the revisions. So as, as any books that you have on the shelf by Saspadi, by outside uh, those books as available for academics, similar thing, materials and topics would be revised from time to time in terms of minor revisions because it has to be kept up to date with the latest uh, information, like first aid uh, standards and procedures of first aid changes as uh, more information comes along. So those are the minor changes that uh, on the headquarters set that will help um, to to invite to revise. And also at the same time, um, your feedback of you guys, you guys are the one who take this material and use it on the field. It's like you guys are the soldier in the battlefield. You guys, we are the one designing the gun. You are the one using the gun. You have to tell us whether this gun is useful or not at any time point of the time then we'll, we'll improve it further together uh, uh, in this, uh, for this material. All right. So I think what Rebecca shared five years is the major revision that we come to the point, then we will sit down and review again to see, hey, what are the, are the other things or other kind of format or structure that we need to change further? Yeah. Okay. Um, Cheng Yi from Six Miri asks, uh, does it mean that exam is not a must for the junior and pre-junior to get the batch. Yeah, Be uh, Becky, you want to get that question? No, uh, it, it's not a must. Yeah, it, it's not a must. But if you feel that you want to test them before they get their batch, you know, by all means, you know your members more than we know your members. Yeah. But how you test them is up to you. 
I think uh, what to point one thing out as well uh, on the conception is that the reason why these materials are called the guidebook and the workbook is because it's supposed to be a guide. It's not a, a requirement or assessment enforced nationally throughout because um, each company is so diverse. The members are so diverse and the circumstances are so diverse. Yeah, so you guys and the officers are the one who has the wisdom to see how it's the best to carry out things. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you any for the other time. Yeah. Yep. Any other questions? Yeah. Hi. This is Darren from Second KL. Um. I actually just typed it in the chat, but I think I'll just verbalize it lah. I noticed that this time the version is very clearly stated on the front cover, so that's quite good. But I think um, based on my experience handling junior section, sometimes the officers photocopy from the photocopy. So I just want to uh, maybe make a minor suggestion that we should put the version as a footer on every page as well. Thanks. Mm. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah. George, yeah. you know what to do. Yes, yes, that's very useful. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to hi and um, wait for first question. So I want to ask uh regarding the book, the workbook. So uh is this workbook uh available in the PB uh website for uh, for the company to print? F of a company or the officer had to bring it by themselves? Uh, this, okay, George can explain. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it's in soft copy, so the officers can print it yourself because the reason is um, it's up to you on how you want to carry it out. You want to print it as a book or you want to print it as a loose leaf, meaning that uh, pieces by pieces is up to you. Yeah. Oh, so it's uh, not ready printed by the stat. It's by the HQ, sorry. Uh, no, no, the HQ has no intention to print it and sell it, no. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Off, yeah. All right. Any more questions? We probably have like maybe two minutes. Uh, we don't want to take this too long, you know, it's, it's just a short session. Don't want to tire everybody out. But if Hello. you have any questions. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, hi, Mr. Okay. Hi, I'm Jeremy from 11 Kota Kinabalu. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay. Uh, my question is, uh, since we've been through all this, uh, uh, is this a discussion or launching or uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure about this because what I received a message is uh, at the same time we are going to launch the junior and pre-junior. Is this uh, still a discussion or already been approved everything, printed out? Uh, that's, that's, that's my question. Uh, this is actually the launch of it already. Uh, that's why we are teaching and we are guiding having this webinar to just introduce it and so that you can use it. Uh, but if you have any input regarding it, you can always direct it this to us directly. Yeah, because all this was actually um, the idea for all this came up when we first had the committee, uh, a state representative uh, came up with all these needs and needs of the pre-juniors and juniors section. So that is why we've embarked on this journey to create a national syllabus. So this is the launch, this is the launch. This is what I've, I'm very excited to announce. This is the launch. You can use it like once it's launched. I see, so once it's launched, uh, uh, the HQ will start printing or how long should we wait for the material or how if, once printed, there's still ideas coming in. Uh, what, how, how you should uh, handle it? We are not going to print it. We are going to upload it on BBMS. So you in the local companies can download the PDF and print it. Yes. So you can use it 
already. Yeah. I see. All right. All right. If you still have any other ideas, you want to teach extra things to your members in your batch classes, no problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is, this is as I said, just a skeleton. You can always put in... Uh, this is just the noodles of a spaghetti. You can add in your pepper and your salt if you have any other ideas. No worries. One question. One question. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Liu from First Spinning again. Um, what's to yeah. clarify this? The workbook once we launch, I think most likely we will use it next fiscal year lah, because now already left you one to two months time. So example, mm -hmm. not, uh, even as you mentioned, is a scale, uh, is a guideline, meaning if yeah. we don't use some of the element, it's still okay, or we must, but we can supplement more, but cannot cannot uh, minus off from whatever in the in the books. Ideally, that's the aim of it. Yeah, I, I, I want a clearer picture, la, meaning should add on but cannot minus or is how? I, I just want to confirm this. La. Mm. Yes. Yes. You can add on, you can teach them more, but this is the bare minimum. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, two more questions. Um, and I think last two. Uh, Ruben from Siskel asks, may I ask if there's any extension from Go Award in the light of COVID-19? Um, I think uh, from Edmunds, from Edmunds side, there is a special awards memo that has been set up previously. Um, in the extension, right, Web, uh, Becky? Yep. yep. There's already a memo that says that you're, because of COVID-19, uh, the special awards are extended. Yeah, for one year until end of next year. For those who are um, at the last year, this year ones, huh? it's not to apply to, well, yeah. Um, good afternoon. Sorry? Uh, yes, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Jerry from Fifth Sanakan. So I uh, actually downloaded uh, from the email. Okay, so uh, it's, I don't know whether everyone can see this. But uh, yeah, this is from the Google Drive. Okay, so I downloaded it from the Google Drive. So we can actually direct, just download whatever syllabus is inside and just print it out for the juniors. Is that, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the question. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, you can. You can. Okay. No, no free of charge. You don't need to pay. Yeah, don't need to pay. Malaysians okay. like free things. It's free, it's free. <laughs> yeah, okay. Last, last question from Yong Sing Chang from Second Ming Tulu. Are we still can use the previous pre junior handbook for this year? Yes, you can. For whatever remaining days in the, uh, 2020, you can. Uh, we are not saying by 2021, 1st of January, you need to use the new syllabus. But our aim is that all the companies in Malaysia are using these resources. If not, it will be like we just wasted our effort. So I hope all of you support it, support the national effort in helping provide this material. Uh, okay. To add on a bit, uh, don't worry that the revision is like we're going to revise every single week or every single month. Like the revision will not come in that manner. Lah. So we we'll try not to be as frequent in a year as possible because of you guys are ongoingly using it as a version. So we try to keep it like one or two times a year for any major, uh, uh, for any mi mi minor updates that we get feedbacks from. Right? Yeah, so don't worry about that. Uh, Jehan, okay, can you can ask the last okay, question. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, it's not directly related to this guidebook. Lah. Um, but um, I just thought of it because I know in the past I have had boys joining that are hyperactive and some of them, they got certain level of autism, not like very high level, but there is. Um, I'm not going to ask whether can we or cannot take because of course it depends each company how they handle. But I just want to, I'm, I'm just curious of asking what is BBM stand towards this group of um special needs kids 
And I'm, I'm just going to recommend out there that perhaps we could consider having training for us to not only how to train, how to train kids, but also kids with um, special peculiars, if you will. So, you know, sometimes when we see a hyperactive kid, the only thing we would do is either scold them until they keep quiet or we just be quiet because we don't know how to deal with it. And sometimes it's a bit dis dis de de debilitating um, to, to handle this. So I just need to get your feedback on this. It's not so much of a question answer kind of thing. Thank you. Um, actually, uh, before I came to Sabah, when I was still in Second Subang Jaya Company, we had uh, special needs children, maybe about 10 of them. And uh, it was a challenge to teach them things that we teach the no uh, normal children, you know. When you ask them to stand straight, they cannot stand straight. They cannot do drill like everybody else. And all of us are not trained in special needs. Um, yes, a training is needed because to take care of them requires patience, a lot of love, and a lot of guidance from God. All right? But if you feel that you have the manpower to you know, bring them into BB to teach them uh, what BB is about, what God's love is about, do it. Do it. Because God says to love everyone, share the good news with them. And regarding training on how to deal with them, I think we can find, uh, there is an officer I know, uh, Mr. Benji, who is uh, from 8PJ, and he's very passionate in dealing with special needs children. So maybe, um, thank you for your uh, input, but we can get him maybe to do one webinar one day on how to deal with these children. Yeah, George? Yeah, sure. Um, Captain Lee Han? Okay, and I shall bring it up to Lieutenant Benji and ask him. <laughs> and I'll say Thank recommended you. by Lieutenant Rebecca Choi. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, Captain Lee. Yes. Yeah. But of course, there are a lot of officers in Malaysia we do not know that have this special talent to deal with special needs children. And now, of all things, you know, we all have to be trained because we are dealing with children who are different different a lot of pattern you know a lot a lot of pattern they are not just one one type of child and and that's where all of you i think it's a calling from god for all of you to be in this ministry you know it is it is god calling for all of you so i want to encourage all of you to when things get hard you know just remember that bb keeps us younger <laughs> all right um and okay, I think enough with the questions. We're going to finish. It's going to be four o'clock. But before we close, uh, I would like to announce that the Gold Award syllabus is under revision. It's already almost done. Um, it will go through EXCO uh, in the next EXCO meeting. And then it will be announced and launched by maybe uh, end of the month or next month. So this new revised Gold Award scheme. Uh, you have to look out for it before you plan for next year onwards. It will be effective hopefully January 1st, 2021. So if you have any members you are planning for their goal award next year, uh, this will be the new requirements needed for their goal award. It's not too different from the previous one. It's quite similar, but uh, maybe we'll have another webinar on how to... Uh, conduct goal award classes uh, once it's launched. After it has gone through uh, EXCO and BCM, then we will have that webinar. So uh, if you have any inputs or any questions regarding the new goal award syllabus that's coming up, uh, you can always email us. But that is something for all of you to uh, look forward to. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Regarding so, goal award, for yeah. the global mm -hmm. warming, I found out the the topic is too general for our gold award uh, recipient mm -hmm. to protect. So can you make it very simplified so that the topic of global warming is not too broad? Okay. Uh, yeah, so that is where we have revised something new with the new syllabus. So I hope that you will look forward to that. It will not just be global warming anymore. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hi, uh, uh, Madam, Madam Rebecca, I have one question. Uh, my name is Fan from BB2SJ. Okay, when I go through the syllabus, right, I don't see any drill manual. How should we... How the drill we... actually in BBMS. Uh, so, do we include this in this syllabus? Um, ideally, they will go through drill at the same time as batch class. So, there is already a drill... Uh, component yeah. uh, according to age that we have prepared on BBMS is already available. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think, thank you guys. We need to close for today already. So thank you once again to Dr. Rebecca for uh, dialing in all the way from Sabah and taking out her Saturday. She's a doctor. She's always on call. She's very, very busy. And, and really, also in Sabah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, for you. <laughs> and enjoying that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, once again, uh, thank you again to Dr. Rebecca. So, before we close, let's do something that we always do online now, is to take a photo. All right. Okay. So, if I can have you to turn on your video, all right, and to say cheese, okay, without stopping, I think all of us has acquired that already. All right, ready? Say cheese. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Okay, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, much faster now. All right. So once again, uh, thank you, Dr. Rebecca Chai, and thank you, everyone for making your time and putting uh, your time this Thank Sunday Thank you everyone for afternoon. attending this webinar. Yeah, give okay, yourself a big clap. Yep, and then we'll close. Let's close up with uh, a simple Vesper. Then we can close for the day. It's a for All right, okay. Ready, sound. Can you hear the sound? No. Can you hear the sound now? The sound. Oh. rest of the Sunday weekend. Thank you guys and see you in the next OTP which is I think next week. Yeah. Alright. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you.